I'm going to put these balls on my delta. You want to see why? Make sure you watch the rest of this video. Stay tuned. Welcome inside the Mind of Matt. So why do I have tennis balls and I'm showing you my 3D printer? Well, they have this model right here on Thingiverse. I'll leave a link in the description as to where you can get it. But basically, I stick the ball in there and it goes underneath the 3D printer and it's a vibration absorber. I'm going to see if it's going to work. Well, how am I going to see if it's going to work? Well, that's where it gets best. You know, it's funny too because as I was printing these out, I was trying to figure out, hmm, how am I going to detect or monitor or make this some kind of scientific so that I can determine whether or not these really worked or not. Well, just after that, the guys over at 3dpc.tech kind of uh, made this post about this app that you can get on your iPhone or your iOS device that is and it detects all kinds of stuff like tilt and vibration and frequency and all kinds of stuff so I'll leave a link in the description as to what it is but it's called Vibe Sensor so I'm gonna set this up and what I'm gonna do is a before print and I'm gonna show you what the vibration is and then we'll do an, an install of these and then we'll do another test and we can make a comparison. If nothing else, what this is going to accomplish for me is that you see where it is? See where the printer is? Well, I have to get like way down on the floor in order to, to make any kind of calibrations and it's a little bit low on, the, you know, on these old bones so at least it's going to give it a little bit of a hike. And if nothing else, I can always just put the mat back underneath it. Underneath it. But I figured this would be a good opportunity to upgrade, jack up, and maybe reduce the vibration on my Anycubic Castle 3D printer over here. So I'm going to do a setting up of this app, and we're going to do a before print, and then I'm going to install these, and then we'll do an after print. So let's get to printing. So here's just a quick look at this app. As you see here, on the left it actually has got the tilt. So if I, I move the device in any way, it's kind of giving me like an X, Y, and Z kind of indication as to which way the thing is going. Now on the right hand side is where it's detecting any type of motion or vibration. So I'm going to zoom out here so you can see that I'm what I'm doing. So as you see, if I, if I not, it indicates vibration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up for a test. Now the maximum amount of time that I can actually, you know, kind of record is 10 minutes. What I will do is I will set it for 10 minutes and we'll compare. That should give me enough time for some smooth first couple of layers and then some vibration from the actual infill. But just for experiment purposes, this is one minute and I'm going to record and capture one minute of no action for baseline. So I will click on the live, oh, the acquire. One minute. And then start. As you see, it will go through a countdown. and at the end of it it will actually give me a frequency vibration type of chart now I'm not sure if it's actually going to pick up any of the talking vibration 
for me speaking while recording this, but we'll see in the example. Okay, now if I go to view data, it will actually give me So that right there will be my baseline. So let's get set up with a model and we'll test out it before and then we'll do a test after. We put some tennis balls underneath our printer. Okay, this is before tennis ball print test. Okay, so that was the first 10 minutes of the before print. So I'm going to let this finish printing, and then I'm going to put these on, and then we're going to do the same print, same settings, same file, everything with these on it, and then we're going to measure the first 10 minutes again, and then we'll make a comparison at the end. So let's cut camera and We'll wait for this to finish. Alright, so that print, the before print has finished. Uh, made you look, made you look. But anyways, I'm going to take that off, unplug this, flip it over, put these guys on, set it all back up, and we're going to try and print again, doing the same test of just the first 10 minutes of the print and then we'll make a comparison take a look at everything once it's all installed so let me get to work here
on the right. Tennis ball, vibrator absorption. Thingamajiggers are hooked up. Let's give it a little bit more bounce. But we're gonna load up the test again and I've got the app ready for 10 minutes. We're gonna preheat it and we're gonna print it again. Okay, here is after installing vibration print test. Okay, that sound indicates the end of the 10 minute vibration test. So we're going to let this thing finish printing like the other one. But I'm going to show you a couple things while this is printing that I've noticed. So let's take a look. Now first thing on the pro side is that it's a lot quieter. Even when it was on the mat that I had underneath it, it's still a whole lot quieter than it was before. Second, it's a little bit higher than it was, so I got a little bit more clearance while I'm down on the ground trying to calibrate it when it needs to be calibrated. But one of the things I am noticing is it's vibrating a little bit more than it did before. Obviously, it's kind of a uh, you know, wiggling on those tennis balls underneath there but it's quieter and as long as that shaking doesn't affect the print outcome then I'll be happy with this upgrade as it is so I'll let this thing print and then we'll conclude this video also my camera is a little bit low now so I'm gonna have to have a little bit higher of a camera stand in order to be able to get some time lapses minor little fixes that I'll have to take care of as a result of this upgrade All right that's finished up and ha made you look again but anyways let's uh, I'm gonna do one more test just because after looking at the data the baseline test that I did was a little bit I might have bumped the table or something so I'm gonna do another baseline test here real quick for one minute I'm gonna be quiet and we're gonna run it for one minute
Okay, so let me pull off the charts off of the app and we'll go over to the computer and I'll show you the comparison and then we'll go from there. Alright, so here we are looking at the data and as you see the first two charts here are the two base lines that I ran. The first one I kind of talked through the whole thing and as you see there's a little bit of picking up on that so I ran it again and now you see the before and the after and I guess the Z or the blue is going to be the main indicator as to the improvement and as you see in the after it is definitely reduced a little bit or quite a bit of that vibration reduced the sound as well so I'm happy with the outcome of this upgrade so I've left a link in the description as to where you can get these tennis ball vibration reducers or whatever they call them I'll leave the link down there anyways what to uh, give a special thanks to all those that are subscribed let the ads play support me on patreon if you haven't subscribed yet make sure that you hit that subscribe button before you leave hit that like button to this video if you like it check out all the links I have down in the description for any shopping that you like to do make sure that you keep on coming back leave a comment there's gonna be more thanks again for stopping inside the mind of Matt happy printing be safe porn by the way this is Tesla's blue PLA and this is being printed at 220 degrees no heated bed no bed adhesion just straight bed just glass Where'd you look?